Insurable interest. For any insurance contract to be valid, there must be an insurable interest between the applicant and person or property to be insured. Insurable interest represents the financial impact that would be incurred by the loss of the insured person or property. Without it, an insurance policy is a speculative investment and speculative risks are not insurable. Insurable interest and life insurance. Like every form of insurance, life insurance requires an insurable interest between owner and insured when the policy is applied for. But unlike all other forms of insurance, life insurance does not require the continuation of insurable interest after the policy has been issued. It is worth noting that an insurable interest is never required between the policy owner and the beneficiary. Applicants and policy owners may designate virtually any person or institution as the policy beneficiary. Key point. Life insurance policy owners are free to assign or sell their policy to anyone or anything, regardless of the relationship between the new owner, called the assignee, and the insured. In practical terms this means the continuing need for insurable interest between owner and insured disappears after a life insurance policy is issued. Insurable interest in personal relationships. The following types of personal relationships are automatically deemed to represent an insurable interest. Individuals in themselves. Spouses in each other. Parents and their children. Children in their parents or grandparents, or someone else in the case of financial dependency. Beyond these relationships, the burden of proof lies with the applicant to prove there is an insurable interest in the proposed insured. Example. Spouses have a financial interest in one another, which translates into an insurable interest. Adult children have an insurable interest in their parents if the parents are financially responsible for the children, for example, if the child is permanently disabled. However, people typically don't have financial responsibility for their neighbors, which explains why one normally cannot insure the person next door. Insurable interest in business relationships. Life insurance plays an important role in business relationships. Insurable interest exists in a variety of business relationships, between the business's owners and between the business and its employees. Businesses rely on life insurance to make up for the financial losses that might occur should an insured key employee or owner die prematurely. For example, the funds can be used to provide liquidity while the business searches for a replacement for a key employee. Because insurable interest needs to exist only when the policy is issued, a business can maintain an existing policy even if the insured employee leaves the business. Business owners and partners insure each other's lives, naming themselves as beneficiary, to provide the funds needed to buy out the business interest of the one who dies first. For your review. Insurable interest is the financial interest a person has in another person or property. All insurance applicants must have an insurable interest in the person or property that is to be insured. With life insurance, insurable interest is not required after the policy is issued. It is never necessary for the policy beneficiary to have an insurable interest in the insured or the policy owner. Immediate family relationships automatically represent an insurable interest. Beyond that, burden of proof is on the applicant to show that one exists. Business owners and partners have an insurable interest in their key employees and other partners. Please pause the audio and watch the... One of the basic requirements of insurance is simply that there must be an insurable interest between the owner of a policy and the person being insured. In other words, there must be a financial impact on the owner if the insured party suffers a loss. That's the nature of insurable interest, having a financial interest in the person being insured and the owner of the policy. There's an important distinction between life insurance and health insurance when we talk about insurable interest, and you want to make sure you understand that in preparing for your exam. In health insurance, the insurable interest needs to exist throughout the life of the policy. By the way, this is true for property and casualty insurance as well. The owner of the property or the owner of the, the health insurance policy, of whoever is insured, must stand to suffer a financial loss in the event of a loss at all times. It's different with life insurance. With life insurance, the insurable interest needs to exist when the policy is issued. Once the policy is issued, 
the question of insurable interest no longer exists. It is a fundamental right of ownership of life insurance that the owner can transfer ownership to another party without regard for an insurable interest. In your business, you will have customers ask you, can I transfer ownership of this policy to somebody else, to my alma mater, to, to some other person or, or entity without regard for the relationship between the insured and that new owner? And the answer is yes. With health insurance, there must always be an insurable interest between the owner and the insured person. With life insurance, there has to be an insurable interest when the policy is issued. But once a policy is issued, you can transfer that policy to anybody without regard for insurable interest. Okay, so here is our quiz. <clears throat> Which of these personal relationships does not automatically constitute insurable interest? I'm going to guess and say neighbors. All of the following reasons that a business might buy, buy, buy life insurance represent a valid interest except <clears throat> to provide insurance coverage for large volume customers, to insure the lives of key employees or owners, to insure liquidity in case one of the owners dies, to insure partners' lives to provide funds for to buy out a deceased partner's interest. Hmm. I want to say the first one. I'm thinking maybe it might be the last one. That one's a tough one. All right. All of the following uses for life insurance in a business represent a valid insurable interest, except because another accept question. Life insurance in a business represent interest, except. All right. Didn't we just do this one? It almost sounds just like the other one. It's like some of the same questions. Answers, too. Life insurance purchased to provide funds. Life insurance to provide key buys. And make up all the financial loss that occur when a customer dies. What has a customer got to do with anything? <coughs> Um, if our customers die, they die. That's not on the business, is it? We'll find out which of the following best describes insurable interest. Um, refers to the financial relationship between a policy owner, the insured person, or property. Policy owner. All right. I'm going to stick with what I got here. We'll see what happens. 75. So we got one wrong. It's probably the last one. Yeah. Okay, good. So this one I did pretty good on. The last one is the correct answer is it's a financial relationship between the policy owner, the insured person, or property. That was my second guess. Uh, okay, so that's the answer on that. The other ones are the customers. Why would we care? I mean, we're important, but we're not buying life insurance for our customers. Businesses do not buy life insurance to insure the lives of their customers. Yep. And neighbors do not have insurable interest. Okay, so that's it on this one. Uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is insurance premiums. So if you're following along on this series... That's next.